Welcome. In this episode, we're going to demonstrate how to connect an AC to DC power supply to a 220 volt line. Now, the reason why we're demonstrating this is from time to time, we do get questions about how to connect a power supply that actually has a universal input, meaning that it is designed to operate at very low line voltages, such as 85 to 120 volts, but it can also operate in uh, the 220 to 240 volt region. Now in 220 volt systems, you do not necessarily have a neutral in all configurations. And for that reason, we're going to demonstrate how to connect a, a 220 volt line when you have two hots and a ground. So before we actually make any connections, there are a couple of steps that we're going to take. The first one is to verify on the data sheet that the data sheet does in fact specify that the power supply can be connected to a 220 volt system. Secondly, some power supplies may actually be 110 or 220, but they have a user selectable switch. So please check the data sheet to ensure that if you do have a user selectable switch, you are now indeed connecting it to a 220 volt line with that switch at 220 volt setting. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to verify the wiring and ensure that we're actually getting 220 volts on our wires. So in this demonstration, we're actually going to show a line cord that actually has a black and a white and a green wire. Now in a traditional 110 volt system, the black would be hot and the neutral would not be hot and the ground would be, of course, ground. In this configuration, both the neutral wire, the white wire, will actually be hot as well as the black wire. So both wires will actually be uh, 220 volts from its each other. And this is how we're going to verify that we have a 220 volt AC system. All right, so I have now a connection to the uh, to 220 and I'm going to verify a couple of things. First, I'm gonna verify that we do have 220 between the black wire and the white wire. This is frame ground and we'll also check that in a minute. So I'm going to actually energize the system to 220 volts and here we go. We check it from one terminal. And there we see we verify 220 volts. And both of these wires are hot. And uh, so in this system, it doesn't matter which one goes onto the power supply. Now we're gonna de-energize this because I want to check the ground connection separately. And in this case, I'm going to put this into ohms. Verify that that's ohms. And I'm actually going to put one probe to ground and the other probe here and as you can see, I get about an ohm, which tells me that this is a physical connection between the ground connection and my wire. So I know that that's the ground connection. Now we're ready to actually uh, connect this power supply to these wires using the proper configuration. And again, you can see here, we have a, an L and an N. We actually have a ground connection as we mentioned, it's not going to matter which wire goes where in terms of the white and the new, and the uh, hot and the blue, sorry. It's not going to matter which wire goes where, whether it's the white or the black, but I'm going to follow the same convention that we follow in a 110 by putting the black in here. And I'm also going to make sure that these are nice and tight before I actually energize the power supply. Now I'm going to connect the meter to one of the outputs. In this case, we chose a 24 volt output. And now I'm ready to energize the power supply and see if we get the output voltage. And then we see that we have very close to 24 volts on the output, which indicates the power supply is energized and it's working properly. Now 
there you have it. This is how you would connect a 220 volt AC input to a wide range universal input power supply. If you have any questions on how to connect your AC input power supply to your AC input system, give us a call here at TRC. We'll be happy to help you with those wiring connections and make sure you're on the right product for your application.